Okay, I'm, I'm actually driving back from Frigate Bay back toward Basseterre St. Kitts, and I just want to give you an idea how close it is. Uh, it's only just a few miles, like three miles. Uh, but the great thing about it is it's very quiet in Frigate Bay, but you know, you can be back in the town of Astier, which is so close. You can get everything done like within four or five blocks. Uh, it's like that, you know, in most cities, you know, you have to drive miles to get one thing done. Here you can literally park your car and get everything done at one time. It's, uh, it's that condensed. I've never been to a place. That's one good thing that, about being a small country is everything's like within just a few blocks. It's just incredible the difference. Um, that you get and uh, so you know it's, uh, if you want to um, literally you can live in Frigate Bay you don't even need a car I'll be honest with you uh, if you walk back to town from Frigate Bay it's, it's going to take you probably around 50 minutes roughly the heart of town uh, you can get to the edge of town about probably 30 or 35 minutes from Frigate Bay you know, just depending on how quick you walk and uh, it's about three miles to the airport too, so you're that close, but you don't hear the noise of the planes because they don't come over Frigate Bay. They go out towards the uh, middle part of the island when they fly out, which is real nice. So you don't ever hear planes and stuff. Um, this is a national park right here, which will always be a national park. It's, uh, uh, it's pretty nice. It adjoins Frigate Bay and um, Basseterre. And so, you, you know, you'll uh, uh, also they're trying to get very environmentally friendly here, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. The, um, uh, the solar panels they're using now to try to convert everything, a lot of things over to solar. It's a very conservative place. They're trying to, you know, just conserve in a lot of different ways. Uh, and this is one of the ways they're, they're actually doing this. So... Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, it's just a few minutes to town and that's it. But um, uh, this is probably like we're at, at uh, around two o'clock, so you can see the traffic. This is kind of actually pretty heavy for this time of day. Uh, but you never get backed up here it's, uh, unless somebody's got a wreck or something like that. Uh, that's Monkey Hill up on that top there, that mountain. And uh, yeah, you can uh, literally just take your bicycle down here to town or you can walk down here or take a taxi. Like I said, you really don't need a car. Um, you know, if you like to exercise and stuff, it's, uh, it's not a big hassle just walking down here. Um, I'm actually gonna show you some of the uh, stores and stuff here. They've got uh, uh, three big stores, Horsford's, Rams, and Best Buy. I'd say for the type of food that I buy, probably Best Buy is the cheapest, but they're all really close. Some are cheaper than others on some things. It just depends on what you're buying. Uh, you have to more or less come down and look at what the type of things that you, you like to buy. I, I try to stay away from imported things because you know a lot of them are heavily preservative. You know, a lot of preservatives in it, and they're expensive. Um, not real expensive, but they're higher than what you're going to get in the States. You're really better off sticking with fresh fruit, fruits and vegetables. All right, now this is Ram store here. And uh, this is a pretty big grocery store here. They've got, Rams has also got a big, it's like a uh, Costco type thing called Cash and Carry. It's like a warehouse there. And you don't have to pay a membership fee here, though. You just come in, you buy large quantities of food here. And uh, uh, it's called Cash and Carry. Uh, this is another big grocery store here. It's called uh, um, uh, Best Buy. That's the one I like to go to. There's actually several Best Buys here. And... Uh, uh, you don't have high rises here, so you won't see high rises in, in downtown here, which is nice. You know, it's uh, you know that way you don't have the views blocked for the ocean stuff like this. 
Uh, there's a place called Harper's. It's real big for office supply place. And they've got several office supply places down here. That's one good thing about here versus Nevis. you got a lot more competition to choose from more office supply and equipment that you want. And, and then down here is where the ships come in at Port Santee. Uh, they'll start coming back in in June. Of course, we got the coronavirus right now, so uh, you know they're not they're not coming in right now. And uh, we've only had, like I said, very few cases. We've had only maybe 60, 70 cases of confirmed coronavirus, but nobody's died or even been hospitalized from it. So it's been really uh, kept under lid here. But they've been very careful here. They don't require, a lot of people have been asking, do they require immunization? They don't, and they might later, but they don't now. I'm, I'm not saying that's forever. If everybody started dying down here, I'm sure they would, but uh, they don't require you to do it. Uh, if you come in here, you do have to go through a two week quarantine. That will probably end sometime soon because the ships are coming in in, in June. Of course, all those people are gonna have to be vaccinated. I'm sure if they come in here, they're gonna have to show proof that they're vaccinated to come in here. Now, until then, you wouldn't have to be vaccinated, but you would have to be quarantined for two weeks. So you have to stay in a hotel for two weeks to make sure you don't have it before you go out in the public. Now, this is the downtown here. And um, you can see the roads here. You see how smooth these roads are. I have so many complaints about the roads. Well, you know, these roads were just paved. Now, the ones in Frigate Bay have not been paved. Some of them have, some of them haven't. But you've seen some of the real bad roads have been really cracked. And, but I mean, you can see the roads here are very nice. They're just as smooth as can be. Just, it takes a while to get the whole island. They've been spending probably the last five or maybe six or seven years doing the whole island, just getting everything. So, um, and this is uh, Port Zante where all the ships come in. And uh, they have over a million tourists that come in here a year through the ships and the air uh, through the air transport about 1.2 million in 2019 then it dropped off quite a bit in uh, 2020 because of the coronavirus uh, but this is uh, where all the ships come in and you can get some pretty good deals over here this is the import uh, duty-free area so what happens is you can uh, get stuff over here duty free, which is nice. And uh, uh, and another good place is a place called Carabana, which I've mentioned before. I call it the Walmart of St. Kitts. It's a, a real good place to, to get inexpensive things. It just depends on what you're looking for. Um, but uh, also, if you go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, hit the top bar that says apply with us, fill out those questions, hit that bottom, bottom bar that says uh, send it to us, we'll get back with you. We deal with a lot of citizenship and residency by investment uh, countries all over the world that I think you'd be interested to in learn about. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below and I'd be glad to get back with you and uh, talk to you more about um, options here in St. Kitts. And I look forward to talking to you then. Thank you.